Ask yourself, you're watching this. If you're not happy with your current financial situation, your financial condition, what are you gonna do about it? Sit there and complain? Wow, wow, wow. And hopefully somebody gives you attention? Or are you going to feel that pain? Because only when you feel that great pain, only then will you decide to change. Only then, when you feel that pain, will you decide to improve. But until that pain is felt deeply enough, you're not gonna change. Short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like... What's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy, Matt Zapala here. Healing to you from 20 degree weather in Dallas, Texas. One snow day here in this whole entire city shuts down, but uh, I'm from Chicago, so I have my biases on it, but nonetheless, if you're watching this right now, YouTube, please click like. If you haven't followed our YouTube channel, at Seven Figure Squad, a channel devoted to help you think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire, please click subscribe. So in this video, my team wanted me to react to the rich versus poor, is the economy rigged? Middle ground. So I'm interested in what these guys have to say. I've got my biases already, so let me be a little bit more neutral. Let me digest this content and let's go. Step forward if you agree. Being poor is a choice. Move forward. It's said. Two thousand years later. I feel like it's 2021 and there's a lot of free resources. I mean, Facebook has a lot of free courses. I think that poor is also a mindset. Your life changes by the books you read, the meetings you attend, and the people you surround yourself with. Your net work is your net worth. With So if you find yourself broke, if you find yourself poor, ask yourself, why? Why am I broke? Why am I poor? And if people can make it from the hood, to the boardroom, from the barrio to the boardroom. They can make it from, from, from broke to balling. Why aren't you? Today, there's more access to information online for free than any other time in human history. Do it! The difference is, do you take action? That being said, I agree with a lot of your points you're making about people not really having the resources or the opportunity to have any kind of action plan. Some people don't even want to be rich. Like, I don't want to be rich. Like, but I, I also, also don't, don't want to be poor. I'm happy okay, in the is rich a monetary amount or is rich a lifestyle? It's a good question, right? What this guy is saying, I don't want to be rich. However, if you add up the cost of living that you love to live, the lifestyle that you like to live, you need to be rich. In the middle. And I would want to live in society where they could perpetuate people to lift themselves out of poverty through programs and just be in the middle. The program is called capitalism. Program is entrepreneurship. Billionaires should not exist. They should exist. One could ever spend a billion dollars. It's not a necessity to have that much money. And who I says feel that? Like there is a certain cap in Who's, which. Don't cap like, me. I, I accuse I you of capping. You can completely survive and thrive. There is a cap, but why do you, you need restricted there? And then ah. if you surpass that, you're just. Hoarding. And then we've seen what people with billions of dollars are doing with their money. They're going to space for fun. Like right. so this is this type of argument ticks me off because why are you trying to tell me how much money I should make? If I want to go out there and bust my tail, get out of my way. Why are you trying to tell me to limit me and how much money I'm supposed to make to make you feel comfortable about you not being aggressive about your dreams, goals, and desires. That's my business. I'm not trying to tell you not to make more money, but it's up to you if you don't want to make any money. This is America. America. Really, if we tax those people properly, it get their wealth and distribute it Ugh. to people who need it, that'd be a much better use than going to space for fun. <laughs> really, space for fun. What other uses can we... The same thing can be said by, listen, we uh, billionaires get to enjoy certain things that a lot of people can't. Well, because billionaires push technology they create opportunities, they create ideas, and they create teams to make those ideas go from theory to actual concept. Where would the cars be? Where would it be with the internet? Where would it be with our cell phones? It wasn't, it wasn't for ingenuity and creativity and having the funding and financing to actually create it. If I, if I may interject, I pay my employees like incredibly well and I let them choose their own hours. Someone who works for me is a single mother, I pay her 50 bucks an hour. And I think that people that are providing jobs and opportunities 
you can hate on them all you want, but yes. at the end of the day, like nobody would work that job if it wasn't in some way, shape, or form worth it. People who make a billion dollars get a fraction of the value they create. Everybody here who has a business understands that. Even Jay-Z only gets 15 cents a record he sells. Okay. Yes. That's so, because he got exploited by the record. Obviously, they don't know the game. And because they're refusing to understand the game, they don't want to play the game, they don't want to win the game. But yet, they're going to sit on the sidelines and judge. I don't agree with this. Label who's using his label no, the, to make money. It's the same you thing. You keep using this word exploiting like you understand the record business, of which I am. That's exactly okay. what I'm talking about. You record don't understand business. You don't understand the game. Hundreds of artists. Do you know how many go busto? Okay, they're taking risk in an artist by the tapes, paying the engineers, marketing, et cetera. They're exploiting them, they're taking on a bet. And they can't just give everybody 50-50, they'll go bankrupt. Yep. You don't understand the record business and you're just yelling out these words exploiting the like you know what you're talking about, but you don't. That's Correct. They're not exploiting. That's why there's one no answer from his end, because he doesn't know. Exactly. He has no context I actually for that answer. I want to ask a question of how you define exploited and why you're saying that. I'm using exploited in the Marxian term where yeah, your labor Marxian creates term. value there it is. and then Socialist. your employer takes that value and distributes it unevenly to themselves and then leaves the rest for the workers. That's exploitation. My name is David. I work uh, this is a good video. in the entertainment character department. Oh, okay, okay. So he <laughs> works. So wait a minute. This guy who's the most opinionated about people that are billionaires that are exploiting employees. He is work. I thought he was working for the government. No, he's working for Disney, and Disney is an entrepreneur. Disney, Walt Disney, started with a dream, a goal, and he manifested into reality by recruiting a team of people that would help him create this dream of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and Goofy and Daffy Duck, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then create into a manifest into a theme park, which, by the way, was financed by a life insurance policy from the Cash Valley had decided his life insurance policy. But that's for another video. But this guy here has got such problems with billionaires, but yet he's working for one. The irony in that. Around $33,000 a year. How's your experience been working at Disneyland? Interesting. My experience working at Disneyland is very mixed. The workers themselves, like my coworkers, are amazing people. Unfortunately, the company is not so great. They don't pay us that much. They have enough money to pay us more. I think they should just pay us more. But I don't think they're going to do that. That's why I'm advocating for a union to bargain in our favor. By the way, I have no problem with people asking to be, wanting to be paid more. You should be paid more. But at the same time to justify why somebody should pay more, pay you more. Just because somebody's a billionaire, somebody's working for a billion dollar company doesn't mean, well, they can spare it, they can spare it. I'm sure they can spare it, but they didn't get to becoming a company like that that's smart and frugal with their finances. Because here's the thing, what happens if Disney World goes bankrupt? What happens if Disneyland, go, Disney World goes out of business? How many jobs are affected? How many institutional investments are disrupted because a company like this that's been invested in heavily because of the belief in a leadership team to grow a company, to grow the stock value of that company, goes bust because they want to increase the labor costs of that company without increasing the value from that labor. It doesn't make sense. Economy is rigged. Actually, I would have to agree with this. I, I believe the economy is rigged. I agree and disagree. Um, I agree that it's rigged to incentivize certain areas and behaviors like we have millions and millions of I like this guy. subsidies. So it supports agribusiness. Yep. Um, it may support one area like real estate or capital investment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. over labor. But I, I don't think it's generally rigged to basically keep the rich guy rich and the poor guy poor. That's that correct. Part, I'll disagree. But there are certain policies like the reinvestment uh, in productive people's hands for building real estate, I would say that's a good thing. Right? When you say I don't productive think... people, like, do you just mean people with money? No, I mean people that actually take that money, organize people, put it to work, and create value. Correct. That's what Correct. I mean by productive Hello. people. <laughs> but who creates the value? It's the workers who create it's the value. It's the entrepreneur. Listen, there's people who take risk and they risk their money. That's creating value. What you discount is the person willing to risk their savings, okay? Their, their rep, and name and reputation. for that venture, and to be paid last. So if it goes busto, the worker still gets paid. The investor Correct. doesn't. If it goes well, the worker gets paid, and the investor makes money. You discount the role of capital and savings in any type of venture. Like, my mom didn't want to be rich. She wanted to be a school teacher and work. That's her choice. And do that and live in the middle ground, and that's fine. But there are people like me who want to take a lot of risks yep. and get a lot of reward. Correct. And we put that capital to work. Yep. And you should respect that. Correct. 
<laughs> I like this guy. I want to fight this guy. This guy's awesome. Putting, uh, putting that guy to check, man. I love it. Annually, sometimes I lose money, but I'd say on average over 10 million a year. I took care of my dad. And <laughs> you, you would not even think this guy makes $10 million a year. Kudos to you. Man, uh, I mean, we need to fight this guy. I, I, want, I want to interview him. I'm, I'm, I'm already a fan. Speaks with intelligence. Speaks with experience. Speaks with wisdom. Um, man, I'm, I want to get to know this guy. In the last years of his life, um, he died broke. I did not inherit my money. I made it myself. I really don't care about the money. Money is a tool for me to have the experiences that I want to have out of life. And there are many experiences that I want to have. I know the rules and I think they're disgusting. That's why I want well, to change them. Why don't you them. play the game then? It's, I mean, you can... We, I mean, <laughs> why, did you, why did you play the game? You're working for a capitalist. You're working for an entrepreneur. Why don't you learn the game? Why? Because you're lazy. Just say it. You're lazy. They're disgusting. Why would I want to play the game? As a real estate guy, I can make millions of dollars and use the exact same tax loopholes that a Donald Trump would use exactly. and pay effectively no tax. And does that make me a bad guy or did I just study the tax code? Mm. It makes you a bad guy, yeah. You, you think so? If I'm, you do that, yeah. I'm following Definitely. the law to a T. Man. The law is wrong, <laughs> yeah. Why is it By the way, the on the flip side too is well, I can see this guy's point. He can see that the law is wrong. And if that's true, then don't just sit there and complain about it. Go and campaign and do something about it. Oh, I'm not. Is it, you think the, it's because of the law, it's always right? No, certainly I, not. No, certainly no not. I, exactly. I'm not saying but that. But that's my point. I'm but, not no, the law that, is written the, to encourage investment, is which the which they that's want. It. So he's yeah. investing. So like the law is written to encourage certain things. If you disagree with it, you can go lobby and change. But he's not a bad guy. <laughs> exactly. Don't hate the player, hate the game, son. Myself, I mean, I remember when I was living in poverty. Tell it, girl. Um, I was just trying to survive. So I didn't even have the brain capacity to try to, or, or the True. willpower to kind of even desire to access the rules of the economy. But I mean, I had an epiphany and I literally woke up one day and I was like, I cannot live the rest of my life. Exactly. I cannot live the rest of my life like this. Ask yourself if you're watching this. If you're not happy with your current financial situation, your financial condition, what are you going to do about it? Sit there and complain? Wow, wow, wow. And hopefully somebody gives you attention? Or are you going to feel that pain? Because only when you feel that great pain, only then will you decide to change. Only then when you feel that pain will you decide to improve. But until that pain is felt deeply enough, you're not going to change like this and I don't care if people call me lame, square, they're going to question my blackness. I mean, I don't care. Good I'm for you. Right. Good out. for you. Well, speaking yes. about blackness, do you think there's a correlation between people from the African diaspora and people of color and poverty? You don't think there's like a relationship the African there? African diaspora. It's true diaspora. that, you know, I belong to a community that makes less than certain other communities. Mm -hmm. That's true. Significantly. Significantly less. Um, but you also, you can't, you can't look at differences between groups and say it's only because of systems. Systems played a huge deal to it. I'm not discounting that at all. Like yep. it's a real big deal and we're working to change that. But also, I mean, statistically, in the meantime, like people from my old neighborhood and people, you know, around this, in these communities, they spend about 50% more on <laughs> shoes. <than> what <laughs> <laughs> are those? It went to a pain point, but that's facts. They spend more money on shoes than educating themselves. So instead of improving what's on the inside, people would much rather improve what's on the outside. I do think it's a choice. I'm not going to say it's not a choice, but it's I'm saying, do you feel like some people don't have the same choices as other people's in different I communities? Think some people don't have the mental capacity to, uh, to allocate the energy to learn the rules of the game, quote unquote, because they're instincts are kicking in to right. just survive. I think it, this is a guy like me that was living in a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood and I was looked upon up and down, left and right, but I didn't care. All I said is, you know what? I earned my way to live in this neighborhood. I fought my way to live in this neighborhood. I qualified for the loan to live in this house, to live in this neighborhood for my taxes to pay for to go to that school in this neighborhood. I'm going to live it up. And if they don't like me, oh well, I'm living here. And uh, make a long story short, I just refused to bow down to the quote unquote system. Okay, those are three questions here in this video. There's another three questions. If you'd like to see my reaction to the other three questions, the other three questions being uh, where my next meal would come from, worried about that, $15 an hour, not enough for minimum wage, and number three, more money, more problems. If you'd like to see my reaction 
to those three questions. And I promise I won't watch the remainder of the video until I do the reaction to it. Put it in the comment section below if you'd like to see part two of my reaction to rich versus poor. Um, very intriguing to see this uh, uh, video here. Um, I've been on both sides of money and uh, I've got my feelings about you know poor and being rich. I've had money problems. Um, poor, if I've been in problems being rich, but if I'm going to have money problems, I'd rather have money problems with being, by being rich. Uh, no f doubt about it because uh, there's, even though there's worry about it, that's a different worry because there's, when you're rich, it's rich pressure, right? When you're, for me, when you're broke, it's stress, unnecessary stress that breaks you, that breaks your physical body and your spirit. Uh, different story when you are having money problems when you're rich. Yes, there's a lot more pressure behind it, but at the end of the day, if you don't want to deal with the pressure, sell your company, sell your investments, sell your businesses, whatever the case may be, and you don't have to deal with that pressure uh, again. That's a different type of different type of uh, issue when it comes to money. But with that being said, guys, let me know your thoughts, your questions, your comments, your feedback. You agree with me, you don't agree with me, put it in the comment section below. Before I let you go, please check out these two videos here, my reaction to people and how much money they have saved, my reaction to how much people make and what they say in both these videos. Very, very interesting reaction to these two questions. Well, that wraps it up. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click like, hit subscribe, and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. With that being said, from Dallas, Texas, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.